When it comes to pixel art, I'm usually more of a minimalist. I like to construct my pieces with limited colors and as few pixels as possible. But today let's find out how much editing this pixel art scene here can take. So, I usually do my pixel art here in Piskel, which is a real simple tool without fancy features like gradients or transparency and such. And it's also free, which is kind of a bonus. For today, I will tinker a bit with the parallax animation from my previous video. It is a rather simple 80 frame animation with a low resolution of only 160 by 56 pixels and it uses only 8 colors. So for this video I have prepared 4 escalating stages to edit the shit out of this piece. But before I can do that I have to switch tools and go to Photoshop because Piskel can't do any of that. The first thing I want to do is change the opacity, or more precisely the color of those back layers. This is a rather innocent step, but the effect is already pretty sweet. It creates a lot more depth and it helps to better differentiate between the individual layers. To increase this effect a bit more, I also darkened the front layer to get even more of a contrast here. Next I added a couple of gradients to the scene and here I did a few things. First I added a radial gradient to set the focus on my little sprite here in the middle. Then I added a kind of vignette to make the darkness of the forest really close in. And to counterbalance that I added another radial gradient in the back, this time a light one, which provides a kind of mysterious foggy glow to the scene. What I did not anticipate was how smooth these gradients would be, even on a low resolution like this. And yeah, that's still the original resolution of 160 by 56 pixel. Now, after making the scene rather dark with those gradients, I wanted to add a little more light. So first I put a bit of a halo around my sprite to really make it glow. And I also added a kind of shimmer to the right where the sparks are flowing in, suggesting some kind of fire that the spirit here is moving towards. With those I really wanted to see some pixels again, so I used a higher contrast in color and I added a little more noise to make them pixelate. I also added a slight glimmer to the other layers to better incorporate the glow with the rest of the scene and yeah, light up the trees a little bit. And while this is already looking rather nicely, I have two more stages to go. But before that it is time to change tools again, so I moved my scene from Photoshop to After Effects. And now I feel like the realm of pixel art is clearly behind me now. So what else could I do to my scene? Well, first I added light rays to my spirit here, as well as the light coming in from the right. And now those really do shine and also illuminate the other layers, which is a nice touch. Now to the final stage. And here I really went a bit overboard, I'm afraid. Because I added three animated layers of fog in between my layers. And remember, I still work on the same resolution as before and while you could see the individual pixels here, this just does not feel like pixel art any longer. Don't get me wrong, I think this scene looks great, definitely better than before, it just doesn't feel like pixel art anymore. Anyway, let me know what you think, um, is this still pixel art to you or is it something else? For today, thank you for watching, I hope I see you again soon and until then, keep your whimsy, stay creative, bye!